Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today, and as you can tell, it's our monthly update. Um, this update I'm actually really excited to do. Uh, I got a lot of really neat things uh, this month. Not not a lot in quantity, but a lot in, I guess, value, you could say. Um, so let's just get right into it. First thing here, as you can see, is just a regular pair of army leggings. Uh, World War II, of course. Um, they can't, both of them, I, yeah, both of them come with the original um, lace, I guess you could say. And then just a 3R, someone wrote in there. But if you can see, there's really, really faded markings. That's how most of them are, at least the ones that I have. As you can see here. Looks like there was something written there. Not quite sure. Yeah, again, really faded markings. Um, they're really good condition. The only complaint I have, really, I mean, there's a lot of dirt on here. It looks like it might rot out or something. And then this one, one of the eyelets is missing. But besides those two things, really, it's in solid condition. Next thing here, we have a, a pistol belt. Everything that's on it is not new. I just, it was kind of a hassle to put it on. I didn't really want to take it off for this video. But here, I'll show you closer. The pistol belt. So yeah, it's in pretty good condition. You know, um, there's no date on it. The only really, the only visible markings on it is just the U.S. here. But um, unless I'm wrong, it is a World War II issued one. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, no no problems honestly it looks almost unused you could say yeah and then i just put just some basic stuff uh ammo pouch two canteens and a, I think post-war uh, pistol holster um didn't really know what i was going for exactly but yeah that's just what i have on there all right moving on uh next thing let's go with this big black book that you guys can see here uh, this isn't original, but I just thought it'd be really cool. Uh, my girlfriend actually got this for me, and as you can see, the Washington Post, uh, World War II. And really what it is, is basically the front page of the Washington Post of um, a lot of important events during World War II. And it's really, really neat. You know, here, German forces quit Central Italy salient. and. It's basically just like kind of like the front and probably the second page of newspapers and it starts from There we go, almost there it Starts from uh, oh, nope It starts basically when World War II started So 1939 God damn it September 1st, 1939, and then it just goes through the entire war, and it's pretty cool, honestly, uh, but yeah, it's not original from the 40s or anything, I just thought it'd be really cool to show you guys. Um, next thing, moving along, uh, this is a new canteen cover with canteen. Uh, I got this off eBay, and I didn't really pay attention to the photos too much, because I got it for a really cheap price, so, but... The cover is a World War One, yeah, World War One dated one, 1918. And I mean, the cover's nice. You got some stains, um, a couple rips, holes. The one problem I didn't see in the photo is this: the way they reattached the the hooks, they kind of put a hole through the cover, so it kind of, you know, the more like stress you put on it, the bigger of a rip it's going to be. And then the canteen that came with it, and this. Kind of hate myself for it, but kind of just looks like a regular canteen when you look under. It's a post-war Japanese canteen, so that's pretty disappointing. Uh, but again, I got it for I think around twenty dollars, so I guess for the cover, it's not horrible, but still a little too bad. But talking about canteens and covers, this one is really awesome. As it you can see just your canteen cover um, might be it looks like a 
M1942, but I think it's an M1910 because of the date. It's very hard to see, but that looks like it says 1940. Um, it's really hard to see. I could be completely wrong, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You get some dirt there, but it's in good condition. The snaps still work perfectly. Yeah. And then with this, can't, oh, there's some markings in there you can't quite see. Not sure what it says. But then it came with this canteen here, which is a 1918 dated canteen. That's pretty cool. And it also came with a cup inside. Uh, I'm not going to take it out just because, as many of you might know, it's a hassle to take out. But the cup is dated 1944, I think. So that's really cool, honestly. I got this set right here, the, the, the canteen cover and cup and canteen for, I think, $24. So, you know, and if it is a 1941, it's really cool because it's like an OD7 color. And so if that is 1940, that's pretty interesting and cool. Next thing here, we're going to move on to this. This one I didn't get this month. I just forgot it, forgot to include in my last video. So I'm going to show it now. Um, as you can see, it's just a um, World War II U.S. Army uh, gas mask bag, more known as like the kidney gas mask bag. Um, it's just the bag. I have the mask, as you guys saw in one of my earlier videos but it's not in here, I just put a bunch of clothing. Um, yeah, I got this for like a North Africa invasion impression, 1942. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. I mean, it's in good condition and everything. The snaps are in good condition. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that in here from last month. I, I see, you, I know you guys are probably looking at this, but we're gonna keep this for last or second to last. Next item here, I have another M1928 Haversack. I got this for about 30 some dollars. So it's not horrible, it's in pretty good condition. Of course, there's no meat camp pouch, which is too bad. But yeah, I mean, the stitching is really nice. Nothing's really breaking apart. The eyelets are pretty solid. It doesn't look like they're gonna leave soon. And this one's dated 1941, which is really cool in Texas. Um, really good uh, markings. There's some rust on it, but frankly, I don't, I don't care. That's barely anything. And then, of course, there's rust on the hardware here, which is a little more, which is a little, um, of a, not of a problem because you can clean it, but you know. And in here, I just put clothing. And actually, one thing that I'm going to ask you guys, and if you guys can maybe answer, uh, if you guys know of the 1928 Haversack, the metal fittings here usually are rounded and not squared off like this. Um, I know in World War I, the Marine Corps packs were squared like this. So, yeah, and it's on most, you know, all of the, the fittings here. So if you guys might know why might, that might be, maybe it's a 1941 thing, you know, after that they switched it to the, you know, the rounded ones. Yeah, I mean, it's a really neat Haversack. Uh, I have a sack that I have now for my impressions kind of not getting old not it's not ripping or anything but I just wanted another one honestly all right we got two more items left I think I'm gonna go with the helmet first all right so as you guys can probably see at first glance it's a m33 Italian helmet uh, these were used in World War II but this one the shell I'm not sure if it's World War II dated or not but it is a post-war, like the inside, the chin strap, I believe is a post-war one and the liner. But you know, I got it for really, I mean, a good price. Um, I actually got it off uh, Mike B. If you guys know him, the YouTuber Mike B. Uh, off his uh, website, well, eBay, but it's basically his website as well. So I got it, this off of him. And um, yeah, I mean, it was really cool. Um, I mean, it's off eBay, so you can't, I can't really talk about the website itself. But I mean, uh, I really love the helmet. So, uh, Mike B, if you're watching this, uh, thanks for the helmet. Really cool piece of history. And I really like it. I got it a size 58, so it sort of fits me. Not that I'm going to wear it all the time. 
some rust stains, which is not a problem. And there's actually a marking here. Might be hard to see. There we go. Looks maybe like a, maybe either a DD60 or a DP60. There's a really small, super faint, right over my, above my nail. That looks like a zero. Probably can't pick it off the, on the camera. But yeah, I mean, it's a cool helmet. I had I haven't bought a steel helmet in for a really long time, so I'm really happy that I got this. So yeah, really cool part of the collection. And then last item that I hope you guys are really excited because I really am excited about it is my original pre World War II German map case, and then with the strap I'm it's broken, but it came with it. Uh, this I got with the leggings and the canteen right there. So the leggings and canteen. Um, the seller was selling this for a really cheap price. So I don't know if you guys see that something that's incorrect. Um, if it's a reproduction or or what. I don't know. So it got, I bought it for I think $40. And the person knew what it was and everything. But yeah, of course this broke off here. This piece that would attach to the front right here and just slide down, it's broken. But then when you uh, open it, I mean, you know, besides some of the cracks on the bottom and the top here, it's honestly in pretty good, oops, in pretty good condition. Um, you know, for your pencils, I'm guessing maybe rulers or other measuring devices. Um, this, I'm not sure what it would hold. And then the markings here, now it's gonna be hard to see because it's hard, it's just hard to see. It says 1936. Now I know you guys are probably gonna say it's a five. And I can see, I can easily see where you guys think it's a five. So I'm just gonna kinda of move it around. Okay, there we go. You guys should, ah. It, it's 1936, and then there's B. Um, it's hard to see. It really is hard to see. Your, your eyes, like right there, it looks kinda of like a five, but then like that, it might look. It looks like a three. Uh, your eyes kind of play tricks on you, but I do guarantee it is 1936. Um, if it's original or or what, or maybe it is a post war one that they re-stamped it. I don't know. But you know, for the price I paid, I'm not going to be too disappointed about if it's if it is post war repro. Well, if it's a repro, a little bit because I can't really use this. But yeah, this is really. Awesome. I mean, for the price I paid, and for what it is, and the year it is, um, honestly, I don't, I don't think you can really beat that. Now, of course, it's not in the best condition. I don't think you would consider this in a use, usable condition. Not that I would use it, because if you guys have seen my impression videos, I'm not an, I'm not an NCO. I'm just a basic enlisted man, so wouldn't have a map case. Yeah. So. You know, for the amount of stuff I had, I think it went pretty quickly. Uh, 13 minutes. I don't know. I was really excited to do this video. Uh, I hope you guys are excited to see all the stuff I got in just the month of February. Um, especially, I mean, I'm just going to say it again. Especially the map case, the helmet, and the canteen cover with canteen cup and all that. Really neat pieces. Oh, of course the book. But I'm talking about original items. The book is also really cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, on the helmet... If you guys can tell me if the liner is for sure a post-war one or wartime, I'm, I don't quite know. Uh, if you guys can also tell me if you think it's a 1940-dated uh, cover there. And if you guys can confirm that that's not a post-war that's been messed with or a repro or anything. Because it is a 36, it's hard to see. Your eyes can play tricks on you. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up before it gets to 15 minutes long. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, make sure to comment and like the video. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, uh, subscribe. Every month there's going to be videos like this. And of course, between those videos, I'll, I try to post other things. And so yeah, subscribe, of course. And besides all that, you guys have a good day.